today we're gonna take a deep dive inside the account of burger a 165 million power player with over 23 billion kill points who also happens to be the highest power player in my kingdom of kingdom 1568 and also the player with the highest amount of kill points in kingdom 1568 if you've ever played alongside us in kvk or you've had the misfortune of playing against us in kvk then you are probably very familiar with burger so today is a special day because he shared with us everything inside his account we're gonna go over his commanders his equipment his armaments his commander pairings and everything else but first what's going on guys cheers now let's first start by just taking a look at burger's governor profile his kill point breakdown is obviously super impressive 18.5 billion kill points of tier 5 units and almost 5 billion kill points for tier 4 units as well he has a highest power ever of just over 200 million with over 71 million dead troops taking a look at the lost kingdom stats you can see that the most units he's ever killed in a single kvk was 161 million with almost 9 million dead troops and 145 million units healed so it should go without saying that we're in for a treat because this account is absolutely insane first let's take a look at the commanders here that we have on the account and we'll take a look at the gear for each of these armies so here you can see the gear on Guan Yu absolutely incredible we have a special talent on both of the kvk pieces here as well as literally everything else on this army we have iconic tier three for the chest two for the gloves four for the legs five for the boots which is very important for the extra march speed and iconic two for both of the accessories now it's worth noting that we are in home kingdom right now and so all of his gear is probably set up for sunset canyon because normally you wouldn't run like a greatest glory on a Guan Yu, right but anyway let's take a look at Nevsky this is his gear right here you could see once again the entire set is completely talented we have even a talent on the KVK helmet and weapon iconic tier two for the chest four for the legs four for the gloves two for the ring one for the horn two for the boots absolutely insane moving on to Zhuge Liang we can see again full special talents on literally everything here on the kit we even have iconic tier two for the KVK weapon iconic Iconic tier five for the boots this is very important guys this gets you the extra march speed for the archers which they desperately need and then we have iconic tier two for the chest legs ring iconic five for the dagger which is insane and iconic tier three for the gloves taking a look at huo over here we see this is guys this is his bad set of gear can you believe that this is this is the bad set of gear okay there's not even a special talent on the ring like come on burger what are you doing man everything else of course is completely special talented we have the set piece helmet and weapon over here iconic tier one for the gloves and the chest iconic tier three for the legs one for the boots and two for the dagger moving on to his Herm in prime we see full six piece set bonus here plus the ring and horn again not talented but we have iconic tier four for the bow three for the helmet two for the chest one for the legs and gloves and two for the boots as well taking a look at Jadwiga we have I'm actually this must be like his third cavalry set I'm not entirely sure why it's on Jadwiga perhaps it's for Ark of Osiris I have no idea but here we can see we also have the ring and the horn a special talent on five of the six set pieces here and just the vanilla Nella set weapon moving on to his third archer set here we have special talented everything except for the accessories both of which have an iconic crystal and so as you can see burger was basically maxing out all of his gear before they even implemented the iconic tier system he's had all these talented probably for a very long time at this point and is just now starting to invest everything into the iconic tier system but once again a six piece set bonus here for the Boudicca prime taking a look at the Trajan here we can see he does actually have a Trajan build we have leadership talented legs which is hilarious leadership talented helmet so again this is stuff that he must have finished before the leadership set even came out right because otherwise this would all be leadership stuff but the rest of it is well really all of it is infantry gear we also have a leadership talent on the Karox war drums which is very interesting of course both that and the vengeance have the iconic crystal here but otherwise a pretty generic Trajan set he probably doesn't work on this anymore because it's really not worth it but anyway you can see that he's got Artemisia expertise we have Zhang Yu we have Henry we have Tarek I mean this is just he's got pretty much everything okay of course Liu Che is a secondary he has Chandra Gupta he even has Gilgamesh he has CPO Prime literally everything Attila Takeda of course Heraclius Zenobia Cao Cao as well with the full you know March speed set no idea what that random ring is doing over there to be honest with you but whatever we have a Manatori over here he maxed out Genghis Khan oh my god Genghis Khan just got the random trial of lost kingdom over there we've got Theodora and of course he does have the expertise to Leon 
Leonidas, Ramses, William, YSS, Harold, Cyrus, Nebu, Honda, Joan of Arc Prime. We have Justinian, Ashurbanipal. We even have, of course, the Ethelflaed, Minamoto, and everything else. Here. I mean, I'm not going to go over every single one, but like this is absolutely insane. We even have an expertise on Thutmose. He must have used universals for that, no? Or maybe he spun the wheel because he has nothing else to spin for on that wheel. I, I don't know. Does Thutmose still show up on the wheel? I have no idea. Anyway, Gorgo is 5311. Not sure why there's no max on Gorgo. Maybe just hasn't needed it yet. We do have a lot of garrison players in our kingdom. So really, we see a lot of burger on the offensive. But of course, he can garrison as well. I mean, this account is absolutely insane. Even got Moctezuma to 5211. That's probably from Mightiest Governors, of course. Didn't invest in Belisarius Prime yet. Didn't invest in any of the ranged commanders either here. So yeah, Wuzetian 5111, like absolutely insane. Cordoba, Margaret, even Chuk is not expertise because even a well like this knows Chuk is not worth it. He didn't even expertise Sargon. He knows Sargon's not worth it either, man. He's got all these sculptures just chilling and it's not even worth putting him into Sargon. That's so funny. It's not even worth spinning the wheel for Sargon. That's crazy. Of course, he did unlock Eleanor though. Lapu Lapu, Charlemagne at a 2511. I think that's just for like Bastions and things like that. Bastion skills, of course, support skills. But anyway, now let's take a look at the armaments here and looking at the Guan Yu wedge formation we can see 6.3 percent attack 9.9 percent .9 defense 3.2 percent health three and a half percent march speed which is very nice and 2.4 percent all damage with three inscriptions we have tremors breaker and assertive over here very nice stuff we love to see that taking a look at Nevsky we have oh we got hunter on this dude which is real good 8.2 percent attack 12 and a half percent defense 8.3 percent health 2.7 percent march speed and 0.7 percent all damage plus we've got five horse over here for a little bit extra march speed as well which is really nice this dude is gonna be cruising on the battlefield next we have Zhuge Liang and oh we got the double legendary inscription bro oh my god we have balanced hunter watchman and hardy we have 9.8 percent attack 7.8 percent defense 4.7 percent health two and a half percent march speed and 3.3 percent all damage this is an absolute giga chad of a Zhuge Liang it is absolutely insane and he's got the three and a half percent health on Hardy there very nice stat distribution and all damage looking at the Huo we have war cry fit vitality and watchmen with 6.3 percent attack 9.5 percent defense 10.9 percent health and 1.5 percent march speed with no all damage unfortunately for the huo so this is probably his second set his best is obviously on the nevsky looking at herman's armaments here we have phalanx valiant patronage and brawler with 8.9 percent archer attack 7.3 percent defense 6.9 percent health 3.4 percent march speed. very good stuff there and a single point for all damage all legendary armaments here as well which is very impressive stuff looking at the Yanvigo, we have six and a half percent attack six percent defense seven point one percent health three point two percent march speed 0.6 percent all damage with three inscriptions which give you extra defense a lot of extra health there on hardy as well we love to see it really good stuff let's take a look at Boudica. we finally start to see some purple armaments for the first time but still crazy stat distribution 10.1 percent archer attack nine percent defense 6.8 percent health and 1.4 percent all damage with three inscriptions retaliation brawler and shielded for some extra stat points there looking at trajan he also has a nice set here on trajan which is mostly all for infantry with one inscription guardians and 0.9 percent all damage so very cool stuff there probably doesn't get much use out of that anymore let's see what's on the artemisia down here what is this we have combo and boiling blood boiling blood very good here we have five percent attack 3.1 percent defense 12 percent health and 3.5 percent march speed very nice stuff there so tanky like absolutely like 12 percent health oh my god dude that's crazy looking at zhang yu here we got armored and metallics with 4.8 percent attack 8.8 percent .8 defense 8.4 percent health and 3.2 percent march speed absolutely love to see it there's just so many stats here i mean he's got seven percent more defense just in the inscriptions alone so i'm sure this is his third open field cavalry set here for armaments crazy stuff you're looking at henry we have the arch formation on henry for some reason i guess maybe just some anti-swarm there i mean this is obviously a, a rally commander we got fearsome 7.7 percent attack 8.2 percent defense 7.2 percent health and half a point of all damage fearsome is going to give you another one percent all damage there as well looking at Tarek we have 
defiant and counterer 4.7 percent attack 10.2 percent defense and 6.6 percent health very very nice stuff there very tanky with the defense looking at Liu Che four inscriptions here we have 6.3 percent attack 1.6 percent defense 7.3 percent health and we have requital metallics rapacious 1.5 percent all damage and daring okay very interesting stuff here looking at CPO let's see what we got here armored guardians in haste we have 4.2 percent attack 8.7 percent defense 4 percent health 6 percent march speed and 1 percent all damage with the bonus march speed with haste over here very nice stuff Chandra Gupta has stuff as well no idea what's going on here this must be like a throwaway set or something I I have no idea these are just like not sure what he's what he's doing with these he's just putting some other stuff here but here we've got the arch formation for Attila war hunger and shielded if 6.1 percent attack nine percent 7% defense, 3.6% health, and 2.7% all damage. This might be the uh, city rally set here for Attila. Very nice stuff. We've definitely done some city rallies in the past. If you missed that video, check it out on the channel. Taking a look at the army presets here, I don't actually think he has all of his presets set up for war because, as you can see, there is no six down here. So that must be like deleted or something. But in the number one slot, we have, of course, CPO with Liu Che, a tried and true, absolutely giga Chad march. Next up, Zhuge Liang with none other than Herman Prime of course third army we have the tried and true Nevsky Joan it's literally lit this I've talked about for literally years this is one of the best armies in the entire game and that has not changed then we have Huo with William then we have Ashurbanipal with Henry and then the sixth army we have Zhang Yu with Justinian so I actually think Berger runs a 3-3-1 setup in KBK I think he runs three calves three archers one infantry I believe that's what it is because remember we saw Boudicca Prime had a ton of extra gear on her as well so maybe that's what goes in the sixth slot here maybe Boudicca with Nebu or something along those lines not really sure or maybe it's Boudicca with YSG who knows but again as you can see here not all of the like armies are actually set up right now because we are in the off season we are not in KVK and I do hope by the time next KVK comes around we see this Justinian replaced with a Belisarius Prime I think that's going to be a very solid addition for Berger considering he is definitely one of the players that swarms down structures in KVK taking a quick peek at the resources tab here you can see an unbelievable amount of VIP points like he has he's ready to go to VIP 20 if he had to like this is actually insane taking a quick look at the equipment tab I'm really not sure why he hasn't opened up these different random chests I never leave these in my inventory because you can't choose what they become anyway so you might as well just open them when you get them that's how I feel at least opening them right away gives me a better idea as to like what I have available to me because when they're in chess form you have no idea what they could be right I'm not here to judge obviously his accounts infinitely better than mine so uh, yeah I can only dream of having an account like this this is absolutely insane and here's all the gear that we just took a look at when he was showing off the different commanders on the account so all of this is going to look very familiar but as you can see special talents for oh my god look at that dude seven rings of doom two of which have special talents unbelievable five horns of fury two daggers oh my god dude he even has some of the even has some of the legendary gathering stuff over here that's so crazy that's crazy oh my god dude this is this is wild we got peter sick a bunch of talented peter sickle this is the ring that gives you extra resources yeah bard's pendant that's right everything here talented of course all the greens and blues yeah this is uh, Ooh, baby I'm I'm jealous I'm jealous he only has one iconic crystal left so you can see that like that's probably the bottleneck for his account at this point because he is I mean he's building like multiple rally and garrison sets right usually a high spender or even like a mid spender player as long as they're maxing crystal tech they're probably going to go all in on one troop type right like if you look at for example in our kingdom chiwi i've shown off his city defense in the past but he's one of our best rally leads now that i think about it he might actually have the strongest rally in our kingdom and that's just because he goes literally all in on archers everything on archers so yeah burger is similar but for all troop types it's so funny here we can see all the armaments and of course everything Thing is all golden with inscriptions pretty much everything has inscriptions at this point like it's actually crazy here we can see a bunch of like I guess these are flux scripts and some magic chests and things like that we've got a bunch of the ethel fled chests here oh we came back taking a look at the uh different coins down here here we see a lot of stuff we got 60 of Pakal chests so he must be getting Pakal 
call from the daily special offer i guess i have no idea here we have the treasure warrior queen obviously for ethel fled 288 of that 67 sovereign keys a bunch of gold keys saved up maybe for the potential new civil civilization coming soon so that's going to be really nice to see there we have only four skill resets very interesting stuff 2660 legendary commander sculptures so he has not only all of those commanders that we just saw expertise which is insane but then on top of that he has 2660 sculptures just sitting around doing nothing which is hilarious because there are commanders that he doesn't have max like sargon like belisarius prime like he'd rather just hold on to the sculptures than invest in them although to be fair he'll probably wait until the first fighting of our next kvk to see what exactly would be best for his account that's usually how a lot of players do their investments in game and that's how you should be doing it too but i just find it funny that there's just oh my god tons of extra sculptures laying around here from commanders that he probably maxed literally years ago and here we can see his museum coins and relic coins things like that very nice stuff speaking of the museum let's take a look at his museum we've got the double relic on Ethelfled, ysg minamoto we have minmet over here obviously we have martel tsao tsao mulan we have richard with the double relic we have a single point into caesar here single point in el cid single point for freddy we got one into barco we've got double for the ragnar one for the constantine interesting i feel like that would be double that you would think we have one into myris only one in alexander the great we have the attila one unlocked as well and then here you can see a couple that he refunded so thutmose and charlemagne completely refunded even though he still has one point in them and then we have the rest are still locked so khan saladin eddie Wu pyrus and takeda now he would get takeda if he had enough coins here but as you can see it costs him 1950 which is actually insane taking a look at the city skins here you can see that he has 55 out of 100 city skins he has more than half of the city skins in the entire game which is insane he's currently using the top copy palace for the action point recovery i assume maybe the archer defense not sure what's going on there he just he's rocking it right now here you can see like oh he's even got the reign of rhyme the most recent infantry health zenith of power skin literal giga chad behavior right there i think he came in first place for a zenith he maybe not first but obviously he got the city skin he also has the battles bloom city skin which gives you 15 percent cab health so uh yeah actual giga chad behavior here we have star palace the 15 percent archer defense city skin which is just actually insane and you can see here that he has 113 out of the 158 of the uh name plaques here in the game yeah super impressive i think more impressive is the multiple xenoth of power skins he has of course taking a look at the achievements here we can see that uh he has completely finished the main achievement progress bar finished engineer almost done with overlord finished vanquisher one away from adventurer being done and uh yeah insane progress here super impressive stuff we have a ton of these six out of 14 for child of fate which is crazy taking a look at the avatar frame selection we have 115 out of 165 so even the cosmetic stuff is getting collected and hoarded by our boy burger over here just getting everything he can get his hands on like just actually crazy obviously a lot of these come with like bundle purchases and i'm sure he is no stranger to bundle purchases now there's a good chance that i put the value of this account in the title or the thumbnail or somewhere along there maybe even both if i'm feeling extra clickbaity today and you might be wondering how do i know how much his account is worth is it a guess did he show me like some credit card statements or has he been keeping track the whole time well great news we don't have to guess or keep track because the lilith pass keeps track of that for him and here you can see he is a diamond member with his Lilith pass and he has 1,308,140 I guess these are points that you get when you make purchases which is not the same as actual points because it's a little bit different here but yeah if you guys don't know you can log into your Lilith pass to see how much you've spent in Rise of Kingdoms or really any Lilith game and you take this number and you divide it by 10. so that means this account is worth 130 thousand us dollars now i don't know what currency burger actually uses he does only speak chinese i believe so he may be using a different currency but in us dollars at least the bundles he has purchased are worth a hundred and thirty thousand dollars when i saw this number i wanted to vomit like obviously i knew his account was insane because i've been playing alongside him for literally years at this point actual giga chad right like actually one of the best players i've ever played with but to know the exact amount that the oh my god dude it's actually insane i'm so poor like i'm so I'm so poor compared like i don't understand this is like double some people's yearly salary that he's only spent on a mobile game it's actually crazy 
guilty but of course as you can see his account is absolutely jacked in fact i think he should change his in-game avatar to be a little bit more accurate to how he appears on the battlefield and if you ever see this being spammed in lost kingdom chat double check your territory because a lot of it is probably on fire anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below what you think about burgers account is this one of the best accounts that you've ever seen in rise of kingdoms because personally it is for me and i've seen tons of insane accounts here over the years and burgers is definitely one of the best on top of that he's actually just a good player and is insane on the battlefield anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace